Well, we're back again there, fellow Keepers, with the Keeper's Corner. We're going to do a quick one on the Egg Hunt Extreme with a low gear requirement build. We're going to run the level 40 Paladin with the Ambushers and Shell of Protection up front, the Moon Mace and Mithril Mail on the Cleric, the Dark Scepter and the Black Fist Leather, I think, on the Druid, Ambushers and chain skin on the War Master. We are going to go with Avenge, Holy Shield, and uh, let's go with Avenge, Holy Shield, and block because we probably don't want to give up block for the rebuke even though the rebuke is nice and I've thought about using the samurai and the necromancer to lower that arc mage's attack quite a bit there we're gonna give this uh this crew a try we'll switch out the take charge which is a pretty useless skill and put in the Wraithful Strike, and uh, then we adventure off into the lanes of the place where the guys and the one bandit, and we fight them. There's one bandit on each stage. You, if you fight them, and you get the energy for your soul skills, and you save it, you save it up like your pants. And uh, block is listed as a self-target skill, but you can actually target anybody with block right now. Uh, clearly, doesn't seem to be working as intended, but. So be it. We did forget to switch our passive there on the Paladin. He still has the Bless boost on. So we'll see how it goes. Should be able to avenge a Disintegrate or two and uh, beat up that Paladin. And of course the health boost on the Shell of Protection will help with that avenge damage. If you do have a Strength of Legend or a Dread Plate with the bigger health gain, of course you want to be wearing those on your Paladin. Now, I do not think you can do this with the Gore Soaked Plate. It is possible. Um, you do get some pretty big buffs to your defense with the Paladin and the War Master. So it might just be a matter of taking a little more time than using a different build. That guy was just hanging out for way too long. Just trying to kiss the War Master or something. As they had relations. The bandit and the War Master. Let's turn into the side of darkness. He's gonna go work for Corgan. He's tired of just being that backline boosting guy. He wants to fight. Now, of course, if you do have a Rod of Ruin, I would uh, use the Rod of Ruin on the Druid, as I did in my last video. If you have a third Ambushers, put one of those on the Cleric. a crushing fist it appears nope he's gonna crush the fist into the druid this guy just don't want to crush my fist somebody attack me avenge me avengesaur do it Well, fortunately, with all their buffs active, it doesn't seem like these guys are uh, taking too much damage from this. You can see the 
Archmage has already worked himself down quite a bit from attacking the Paladin there and taking those couple of Cyclones from the Druid. We are also pretty well set with Rapid Regens for healing, so this is definitely a much lower gear requirement build than the previous videos that I posted. Um, as you can see, these heroes, I'm Keeper level 47, so these Warmaster and Paladin for me are much lower than my Keeper level. This is, of course, just a matter of taking a little more time with it. As you can see, the Archmage is dead there, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish this one off.